Let's solve these problems. Find the least common multiple or LCM. So let's start with 1, 6, and 8. So if the numbers given are just small numbers, we can use listing method to find the least common multiple. So that is, we will list first all the multiples of the given number. So let's start with the multiples of 6. So they are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, and so on. While for the multiples of 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, and so on. And then, from this list of multiples, we try to find the common. So we can have the common multiple of 24, likewise common multiple of 48, so if we extend listing the multiples of 6 and 8, possible that we can still find common multiples. But since we're finding the least common multiple, we will choose 24 as the least common multiple. So automatically, the first common multiple that appears will be the LCM of the given numbers. For number 2, we have 180 and 756. This time, we are given 180 and 756. Obviously, they are not small numbers anymore. So it's not advisable to use the listing method. So this time, we can use the prime factorization. So by the way, I already have a previous video about prime factorization. So if you haven't watched that yet, I will just put the link of the video in the description so you can check it first because we won't be showing any more to you the solutions on how we will get the prime factorization of these two numbers. But instead, we will use this Casio FX9 and 1 EX class wise. So let's find first the prime factorization of the two numbers. So for 180, so let's input 180, press equal, press shift, followed by this fact button. So here is the prime factorization of 180. We have 2 square times 3 square times 5. Next, for 756, we will have 2 square times 3 cubed times 7. So after we have listed the prime factorization of the given numbers, the next step is we need to list the common factors. So we have a common factor of 2 and common factor of 3. Okay, so from these common factors, we will use the biggest exponent that appear. So for the common factor of 2, they both have exponents of 2. So no choice but to use 2 as the exponent of the common factor 2. For uh, the common factor of 3, we have exponents of 2 and 3. So the biggest exponent is 3. So therefore, we must put 3 as the exponent of the common factor 3. And then, to find the LCM of the numbers, we need to multiply this factor, so 2 square times 3 cubed, together with the non-common factors. So this time, we have 5 and 7. So if we multiply this, 2 square is the same as 2 times 2 or 4. While 3 cubed, it's the same as 3 times 3 times 3 or 27. Then times 5 times 7. So using calculator, we have 4 times 27 times 5 times 7. So the LCM is 3,780. For number 3, we have 396, 630, and 1,800. So let's find first the prime factorization of the three numbers. For 396, okay, we have 2 square times 3 square times 11. For 630, we have 2 times 3 square times 5 times 7. 
Lastly, for 1,800, we have 2 cubed times 3 square times 5 square. Next, after we have listed the prime factorization, we find the common factors. So we have common factor of 2, common factor of 3, and uh, this time, we can consider 5 as a common factor in finding LCM, although it's just common in 630 and 1800, and not in 396. Unlike in uh, GCF, a factor is common only if it is common to all the given numbers, right? So therefore, I can still consider 5 as a common. So take note of that in finding LCM, if a factor is common in at least two numbers, then it is considered a common factor. So 11 and 7 are just unique, so we don't need to list them as a common. And then again, let's find the biggest exponent from these common factors. So for the common factor of 2, we have 2 invisible exponent of 1 here and 3. So obviously, the biggest exponent is 3. So let's put 3 as the exponent of the common factor 2. For the common factor 3, all of them have exponents of 2. So, we will put 2 as the exponent of the common factor 3. For the common factor 5, this 5 has an invisible exponent of 1, and this 1 has exponent of 2. So, the greater factor is 2, so we will put 2 as the exponent of the common factor 5. And then finally, to find the LCM, we just multiply this factor, so 2 cubed times 3 square times 5 square, Together with the uncommon factors, so times 7 and 11. And then, we just need to multiply this. So, 2 cubed, it's the same as 2 times 2 times 2 or 8. Then, 3 squared, it's the same as 3 times 3 or 9. While 5 squared, it's the same as 5 times 5 or 25. And then, times 7 times 11. So using calculator, the LCM will be 8 times 9 times 25 times 7 times 11. So it's equal to 138,600. So the LCM of the three numbers is 138,600. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to find the least common multiple or LCM of 360 and 450 and just comment your answers.